Is this okay for sound? Yeah, great for sound. Perfect. Hang on, I just you're the boss. To... Whatever you say goes. What do you want to do? You you're like hang on a second. You, okay. like sound, you know? Let me just see if I can. How can I turn up the volume on my AirPods? Yeah. Okay. Yay. Hi. You're How not going to. You? Okay. We're not hiring you for tech. Case <laughs> closed. <laughs> That's a good thing because, you know, I'm retired. And, you and, you have uh, the right you know. to fire him at any time, you know. Yes. Yeah, I, I wouldn't put up with that kind of crap from him. No tech for you. Oh, look at the shirt. Look at that. Hey, I like that shirt. How's it going? I like it. It's going well. How are you? Good. It's been a it's been a hot minute, hasn't it? I know. It's, it's been a hot five minutes, I think. Well, uh, yeah, because I, I missed um, CHFA. CHFA. Yeah, yeah. Badly, or you know, I was in Europe, cruising down the Rhine. Oh well, we're heartbroken for you. Heartbroken. <laughs> yeah, tough heartbroken. Enough. It. Yeah. It. It was. It was tough, but. Um, I suffered through it, but you know, I still, I still miss, I miss the, the CHFA because, just because I get to see everybody that I don't get to mm -hmm. see anymore. So that was would have been nice. So next year, it'll be the next year. Yeah, so. no, that's awesome. Um, what have you been up to? Um, I'm still doing a bit of consulting, some paid, some you know, free. <laughs> a lot of phone call, yeah. a lot of fee phone calls from people I haven't talked to for a while. Going, oh, I have a question for you. That's it only a minute. Only a minute. Hour and a half later. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's okay. It's all good. I do some. Uh, of course, I have my tennis lessons, and then I have. Um, I do some volunteer work at a nursing home. Ooh. Oh wow! Good for you. Don't get old. <laughs> no. Save your money for a good nursing home. Yeah. That's all I can say about that. Yeah. But um, yeah. 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 So I imagine seriously, just keeping extraordinarily busy, um, camping. Um, the dog gets a lot more walks, a lot more exercise, a lot more, a lot more everything, a lot more. I don't know how any of this stuff got done before. That's very no idea. That's fine. And yet it did, right? Yeah. And it did. But, but then, you know, it's funny because, but 10 hours a day sitting on your backside, you know, and then, yeah. then all of a sudden you get to move around a lot and yeah, so it's good. It's all good. That's so, good. That's so good. I get to put my. Oh, I love it. It's awesome. It's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> it's my retired. It says retired. Oh. When I when I had they had a nice going away party for me for when I left my last job and I love it. Crowned. Oh. Yeah. Very cool. But, oh. Um so for listeners, we have Linda Webb on. She might be she is fan number one. Uh listener number one, fan number one. Um we frequently call her the boss or even heard us talk about the boss the boss is on right now this uh, is the boss this is the boss someone's got to keep you guys in line yeah it's true it's true yeah if you ever wonder why um, sometimes there's a late monday episode or it shows up early tuesday morning it's because i forgot and then the boss got me back in line <laughs> a little bit because normally we're in her ear on the tuesday morning walk and then she'll be like what the f am i listening to now not you guys right so, <laughs> um, so usually is what i get so um so anytime that that happens you have to thank linda she's the one that kind of catches those and gets me back on track that's um, the whip yeah <laughs> we um we thought we'd do something different so we actually asked linda um if she wouldn't mind um talking to us um and we thought uh we kind of see if she had um she had we we thought we'd get her to interview us for a change we have been talking to a lot of brands of late mm -hmm. um and then kenny and i realized that we haven't done very much talking but we thought it'd be kind of boring just for us to talk again so we thought we'd um, pull somebody interesting in and ask her to um, make us a little more interesting so, <laughs> so thank you for doing this we we don't know what's coming kenny's a little nervous yep. I, I, I i have i wrote you got oh, questions yeah. like serious, like a script. I, well, I kind of had to because as you age, I'm I'm older than you guys, so as you age, not much. Well, well, I turned sixty this year, so that's older. Still older. Than you. You're two, only two years older than me. Just wait. <laughs> old enough, trust me. Oh, okay. 
So they they're you know hard pressed questions and you know so <laughs> light it up, baby. So, so today, so today this is um Linda's, Linda's podcast. Podcast. So so we are we're here, we're present. You you ask anything you want, you want to yell at us, you want to try and make Kenny cry, I'm good. Anything <laughs> you want. I was gonna start with the the hardest hitting question and ask you what your favorite color is, but then I thought I'm sure I can come up with something better. So <laughs> Um, and it was funny because then I was, I was thinking about this morning and you had mentioned when you asked me if I would do this and you had said that, you know, you'd listen to every single episode and, and that's, that's yeah. true. And I thought that is 350 plus hours well wasted and I'll never get yes. those hours back. Those hours are long gone, baby. 100%. We, we have a chance. <laughs> so after 350 plus episodes, I, I, I know it's plus that and you six and a half years on. Yeah. Do you ever think you've achieved as much as you have? Um, you're you're active with CHFA, BC Food and Bev, um, food execs. Did you think this would all be part of the journey that um, when you first started this out, when you were yakking in the uh, cafe? I didn't think we'd last a month because I didn't know what the hell we were going to talk about. I, I I thought we were gonna I thought we were gonna get a chunk of episodes in, but I didn't know. Uh, I don't know when we started like. Um, I'd done a little bit of podcasting, but I didn't, you know, so, so when he and I started, I did have a podcast vision in mind, but I didn't think it never occurred to me that we'd be six and a half years in and still doing 10 this. episodes, maybe like, honestly. And I thought we'd be once a month, whatever, you know, we, I, we could talk to each other, phone each other. That's all good. But yeah, I never yeah. thought we'd be six and a half years in and, like 370 episodes or whatever the hell we're at we, we definitely didn't have um i don't think we had any visions of working with anybody for a long time actually probably for the first two years like the first year was just like oh shit we're still talking to each other and then the second year was oh shit we actually have listeners and we should probably try and figure out how to keep this interesting and then i think year three we started to go Oh shit! This is something actually, right? Because mm -hmm. our our numbers in year three started to pick up, right, Kenny? And then we realized that it actually means something to us, right? Like I think year one and year two, we were like, "Yay! Look, we we got like ten downloads! Yay! We got like eighteen! Yay! Look, <laughs> Linda's listening still! Yay!" And then like at the end of year two, year three, our numbers kind of went from like because most podcasts, you know, you kind of get like hundred, hundred and fifty downloads a month or per episode and we went from like 150 to five six seven eight hundred right kenny like it was yeah, like wow. um it's it kind of a period of time though right yeah yeah and, and then, then we started that surprised doing... us actually right well and then we started focusing harder then that's when i think sort of uh yeah i remember sort of chfa and bc food and bev and those guys came yeah. in and then, then then they got into the thousands like like yeah. and fast right like it just yeah. started popping because i guess well, it's like everything i guess more people the more diverse the audience people do talk about it and they'll maybe say to some oh, i should listen these guys are kind of funny and you know you might actually learn one or two things or whatever people yeah. listen to us. Or i have no idea why people listen to us but yeah. for, you know whatever reasons they have yeah so i think i think though too that it also grew too because when you had some of your guests and so they told yeah. two friends and so on and yeah. then it just yeah. it's just organic and in growth and and then they like what they hear and then they continue. I mean, I, I listen to a lot of different podcasts and stuff like that. And so when I listen to one, sometimes they'll talk about another one and then I'll listen to give, give that a go. And, you know, you know, in the first few episodes, if you right. like these okay. people, how they speak and, and what they speak of. So, yeah. Huh. Yeah. But it's like when I, when I think of it though, like where it came from to, to now you guys feel like you're, you're sought after. Do you know what I mean? Where where people, uh, organizations? No, I, I think you are, and I don't. I think you you don't realize the notoriety you created for yourself. I mean, within our community, you know, what, mm. what, what it's our a very world... specific podcast, right? It's yeah. it's geared toward, yeah. yeah you, you know, you, you got to like one other. You got to be in retail or CPG. Mm -hmm. Like you have to be somewhere in the space to probably uh, listen to. It. I mean, I can see any small business could, whether it's in the space or not. I mean, mm -hmm. the fundamentals are fundamentals, but you're right. Mm -hmm. It's a very niche little group. What do you mean, notoriety? That like, are we? 
There's like, no I just find that, like, you know, if you go say you go see HFA, people go, yeah. oh, there's Kenny and Phil. You know, it, it, it is. And I don't think you you actually realize the fandom that that's out there for you just because of. That's too weird. No, no. You know what it is? Because when, when you're on the podcast, you guys come across as um, friends. Like we're sitting across the table like now. Right. Yeah. Like if we were sitting at the coffee shop or if we yeah. were sitting at an airport, you know, bar or yeah. something like that, having yeah. the same discussion. So it's, um, it, yeah, cool. I, don't, I don't think you realize as much as, as, as much as it is out there, just how much is actually, um, you guys are actually, no, people aren't going to ask for your autographs or anything. Right? <laughs> just, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's put a cap on it. Uh, no, no. You no. know, I, I, I appreciate no. people listening. I hope they get something out of it. I mean, if they know us, I don't, I think what you hear is if you met us live, I mean, it, there's really not, you know, it's not, it's not a deep pool. This is it, right? I mean, I don't, we don't change. Well, it's, the same, it's the same discussion, but it's even like that, you know, when I called on you, Kenny, and, and, mm -hmm. uh, and when it's funny, because when I hear everyone else's experience that, that when they called me, I thought, okay, so it wasn't just me using the shit at you. <laughs> was, he's like that to everybody. Everybody, same, same. <laughs> I, I, um, I do I do love it because there are moments that people will come up and go, oh, I listen to you guys all the time or like and that's yeah, it's weird, but it's, it's kind weird. of amazing, too. Um, so that's kind of cool. Like, that's something that I hadn't really. I go right to weird. I find it just weird. Yeah, I, like it's I, just bizarre. Like I, I kind of thinking, oh, yeah, and it's it's not it's not creepy in the, in the bad sense of the word. It's just kind of weird. I, I don't know. I always feel like, well, you know, that's nice. I'm, Hopefully you're enjoying it or you get something. I, I don't know why. Yeah, I, again, yeah. I, I, I'm not too sure. I don't know if I would listen to us. That, I like that, being us. I like doing the show, but I don't know if I would listen to us. Yeah, there does take a certain amount of patience and, and tolerance. Well, you know. No, For us, you know what? I think it, a lot of it's patience like if, you lot want, of if you're a Lord of the Rings person or if you're a Comic-Con person, one of the, one of these, yeah. this, is, this is your group. These are your people. And, yeah. And, and of course they find it interesting versus talking to someone like, you know, I, I've, I have no idea. I've never saw the Lord of the Rings, never read it, nothing, yeah. I, you know, yeah. versus this, this was my world and it was, you know, it's a happy place. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So yeah, any, any regrets leaving um, Corp and oh, no. going into startup? None, not for me. I, I, I don't think I could go back. I, I don't None. think I no. Got a lot <laughs> out of it, learned a lot. Yeah. But other no. But no. Zero. Good. Good. So you're you um were there like did you have like concerns or fears going into this? Because that was truly unknown. When you when Kenny, when you retired, the whole world went, <gasps> and I always told people at 50 I was gonna make a call, right? Yeah. I'd, I I'd said that for five years, like all the time. People are like, when are you gonna go? 50. I, I still think people went, yeah, okay. I know. But then when you draw the line in the sand, what are you going to do? Yeah, that's true. That's true. But then so, um, I think, I think I still worry that. about it every day, to be honest. Like, I think, I think if you're an entrepreneur, like I worry about it. Like I, I have a lot of fun doing what I do, but I, I worry, like, I, I don't think you can, I'm a perpetual word. I, I don't think if, if you can't deal with that, like it's like a weird thread of anxiety all mm -hmm. the time. And so if you can't deal with it, you shouldn't be an entrepreneur. But it's yeah. super, it, like, you know, it, uh, like, you know, Kenny and I, we, we we were doing this and then and then we did one together that was a fairly big contract that went away. And then it did bounce us a little. Both of us went, oh, fuck. Like, we, we had to go mm -hmm. find some other shit, right? Like, and then... Those are the moments, right? That you kind of go, yeah. oh, did I save enough money for that? You know, like, what am yeah. I doing? You know, where do I go? What do I land next? Right? Those anxiety, but we also love the, well, I do. I love those moments meeting new partners, meeting new brands. Mm -hmm. but they're definitely anxious moments too. Right? Everything's different too when you're on contract, yeah. right? Because if you're in, if you're an employee and, and someone says, oh my God, you know, we're not having a great month, you know, um, things are going to be a little tight. But we're going to get better in, in the next couple months, whatever. That's mm -hmm. as an employee, yeah, you just ride the wave. As a contractor, who who's going to go first? Yeah, easiest yeah. one to let go of is a thirty day is thirty days. It's a goodbye. Yeah, 
you don't yeah. have to do any write-ups no discipline you know there's no cause bullshit. it's just that's by yeah. you yeah. know so that's a weird feeling yeah i worry yeah. about it all the time i do i i well i worry about everything i guess but I, a worrier. Worrier. I didn't yeah. know that about kenny but kenny's uh, a warrior i worry about lots of stuff did you I, I would worry that, like I never, I never pegged Kenny for, but he worries no, about it. No, because you, Kenny, you come across as eh. for a lot of things. But I worry, I worry all the time. I worry about Pete. I worry about the family. I worry about the wife. I worry about the kids. I worry about me. I worry about that. I worry about him. I worry about you. I worry about. I worry, I'm always worried about something. That's the Italian know. in you. I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> he is so. So I have to tell the story, and Kenny's going to hate it. So you can put yourself but on me or something. It. You put yourself on mute for a second, whatever. The mute's not going to um, help. Mute doesn't help. I'm, hear it. It. I'm gonna. I'm talking to Linda, so you be quiet or I'll mute. <laughs> uh, but but uh, like during CHFA, um, Kenny's dad wasn't well, right? Um, mm -hmm. And so he was in the hospital. So the night the night I landed, the I landed the Monday, and then Kathy and and I and Kathy's dad kind of ran around the city doing our thing, and he was messaging, and he said, um, "Hey, dad's gone to the hospital." I don't know if we can do any of the filming. And I said, don't worry about it. Got it. Um, we we had, um, Kathy and I rented a car. It was the easiest way to get dad around. And then he was like, oh, okay. So, and then like I said to him, don't worry about it. Just go do your thing. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But are you okay? I'm like, Kenny, I've been in the city like a million times. And if I haven't, I have Google maps. I'll be fine. Right? Like, you know, and he was like, are you okay? Are you okay? You know, kept worrying me about me the whole time. And I then feel I feel bad. You get obligations. Then, like you're yeah, supposed to you do know what I'm saying? Like, this is Kenny, right? So big right? heart, you know, super anxious. And then the next day I said to him, listen, don't worry about it. I'll start calling people and canceling. And he said, no, no, the Coho Kitchen I really want to do. And I said, okay, so why don't we do this? It's close to you. So you just, I'll just meet you there. And he was trying to figure out how do I get to dad's at the hospital and then go get Phil downtown? Cause I was staying at the Sutton place downtown. It was like, Oh, I'll go, I'll go there. And, I'll, and I'm like, dude, stop. Right. Like I'm an adult. I can get that. I get to a to B all the time. And then it's the right thing for you is not to come here and get me. Right. But yeah. that's kind of the way Kenny is. Right. He just mm -hmm. he worries about everything he's got to be. That's a good quality, Kenny. Yeah. It's a good it's quality. Really quality. Not, whatever it is, yeah. it's what it is. See, I worry about worried then you worry about my mom, no, I worry about my no, dad, you worry about no. the hospital, then I'm worried about and then you you know, we made promises to people. Then I feel bad, you know, we can't I can't I can't do it because you know, I've got a situation like it's I can't fix it. So yeah. I gotta deal with it. But I don't I don't like you know, you made a you made a promise me an obligation to somebody you feel bad having to, you know, go backwards yeah. on it. And, and then, then I know everybody understands, I get it, but it bugs me, I guess is what it's stupid, I guess, but you know, no, whatever. I, I hear you. I hear you. I, I went through all that stuff too before with my parents and, and work yeah. and, and shows and flying and this, yeah. that, and the other. No, I get it. I get it. And it makes Kenny Kenny, you know? Yes. Yeah. It makes you special. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Special, right? <laughs> so, aside from the two episodes that I was on, what was your favorite? Any favorite episodes that stand out? Oh, my gosh. Um, like favorite favorites like i'm trying to think. there's been a few guests that um i think I, I, I don't think there's any favorite like i don't think i have like a favorite okay I, stand have out. A lot I really like i just like doing I, I don't think i've had one i haven't liked doing yeah I'm like I, one i was i when we got to uh interview uh riaz mm -hmm. that was fun because he was a tv celebrity and i was a little starstruck i i, I enjoyed that one yeah have we posted to fill the the one we did with um uh -uh, the fast thought not yet oh we got one i was so excited i think i was a little oh too my excited. god he's practically so drooling. excited he's practically drooling okay so i'm gonna because again people are gonna did you see the movie piece by chocolate no it's about this oh fuck, it's so good it's about the syrian family they come in i think it's scarborough if i'm not or hamilton i can't remember anyway they come in no it's halifax in halifax I'm yeah sorry. okay i, I know yeah. the people yeah i, I know, know the story yeah. anyway we i didn't know it was him we interviewed the son it was awesome like i because i'm phil's going piece by chocolate piece by chocolate i'm thinking talking about like what i, did, I said what are you what are you doing he goes we're talking to piece by chocolate i said m the movie piece by chocolate and he goes, he doesn't know what it is right and i said he goes well, yeah there's yeah. a movie he goes you read i said the syrian family yeah syrian family said are you kidding me the movie was fantastic i loved it 
It, it was, it's, it's, no, it's fine. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, and okay, it was great. I, I didn't realize there was a movie. I didn't even think about that. So. Well, the movie's really, it's, it's really, I mean, okay, I told you, it's not like an Academy Award movie, but I loved it. I thought it was very sweet, nice family movie. You know, I, I really enjoyed it. Like, and I, yeah, just, so yeah, that one I was probably just, again, I think probably more starstruck. Or I, it, it was maybe more personal. I don't know. You, yeah. I yeah. knew what it was about. I thought, oh my God, this is so cool. It, it's such a good, it is. It's a phenomenal story. Phil okay. probably has about a million that he likes, but I, I never remember anyway, half the time. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> I have my mind changed from week to week. It's like, oh, I really like that one. And yeah. then I forget about the one that was two weeks before. Well, that. Really, like, like, what was one to stand out for you? Like oh, it's, yeah, if you were listening to one, like one you thought, yeah, that was actually a pretty cool one. Um, I, I'm liking the ones about um, food production in Canada. Mm, I like those ones. That, I'm, I'm just, it's, it makes me angry every time I hear it. Mm, me too. Um, but it's mm. like a very big eye opener. Yeah. Um, I like it, one of the farmers and the fishers. And it, sad, it yeah. saddens me to, yeah. to see all this happening. And it's um, so, but it's, you know, the more people that are aware of it, Oh. Hopefully something one day. Hopefully. I think I have, I think I have three. Um, the first one I talk about all the time, and it's Sarah Brazier. She's a friend of the, you know, like. I love that episode. You know, I've worked with Sarah, you know, love her to death. Um, but she, like that one made an impact because she literally did the opposite of everything we were trained to do. So she worked at j, &J. We knew big company. We knew big markets. And then she moved to Newfoundland you know, population. That was 50, a great story. Yep. Right. I like like population 50. Right. So, you know, the big company person in me, which you can't get out of me is, is going, Sarah, like 50 people, like what, you know, but now she's this kick-ass brand. She was a kick-ass brand now, then, and now, and now she's like got ice cream. She's got three, you know, retail outlets in the, on the rock. So I think that one, um, that was a cool story. Mm -hmm. Like, I think if you're, if you're a big company and you're trying to figure out whether you can make a go of this, if Sarah can do it, I mean, Sarah's remarkable. So, yep. but, um, the fact that she can go to a town of 50 and, and stand up a, a full chocolate brand, I think is. Yeah, go to town of 50 and stand out on the whole rock. Yeah. No kidding. Right? I mean, that, yeah. Yeah. that's going yeah. to extremes. Yeah. What a great story. Yeah. I love that yeah. one. Yeah. Um, I think the other one that was really cool was the chat with um tomorrow um is it um mm. who's the food brand that we we interviewed live um that's it yeah that's Isn't that dean dean, dean. from tomorrow is foods uh yeah tomorrow foods yeah dean yeah um and like that, that was too. just cool because he he has a real vision for why plant-based protein is going to be something um big right because he talked about global trends he's he wants to be able to get this in the hands of um, people in countries that can't afford meat right mm -hmm. that eat you know a lot of byproducts because that's the cheapest stuff that you can get your hands on right so right. his approach was cool um yeah so that was that was really I cool liked it too. oh shit i had a third um oh no i've forgotten who the third is well clearly i you know, it didn't. <laughs> you know what the thing is? Though? It's hard. It's like when people ask that, and I know everybody expects an answer, right? Like a definitive, and like, and I actually, and I actually do. I, I like, I enjoy. I don't think there's one I haven't enjoyed because each they're always different, right? And mm -hmm. it's always a different. Yeah, some of the topics might be more imp interesting to me because it's something I enjoy. But yeah. I, I don't know. I just like the kind of. I don't know. I like the. I like the story. I like the personal aspect. I, I, a lot of times I don't know shit about what they're talking about. So mm -hmm. I just like learning something new, which is kind of cool. As long as I can retain it, that's always. A we've had, we've had some weird, like weird ass stories on here, right? Like, okay. um, Arian, who is the, who made a product because she got chlamydia from her ex who was sleeping around. Oh, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? This and was a like, little I TMI. Coming, I, you know, I didn't I see world, coming at all, right? Cool, You're just like, oh. I, I get how, it. Okay. How do I, you know, how do I do that? And then you've got people who like um, Kieran and his dad, Brent. Yeah. Like, you know, they had farming kind of in the family and then they kind of like up and left out of Toronto and just went, we, we want to get back to the land and like up and left. Um, or the lady who, um, the lady who planted cotton trees for the paper mill. 
Oh, right. That yeah. Meeting? That was right. recently, wasn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. Like but, but locality, locality, like, that and that shit, worry, that shit right? like throws me way off, right? Because I'm just like, wait, so you planted cotton trees that take like 10, 15 years to grow. That's right. Sure yeah. so you can get cotton because you wanted to be a source for the paper mill. You did like, you know, but know. these guys know what like, it's amazing, right? Like, so to me, all that stuff's like, you Some know. Some of the stories are just so interesting because, and I, I, you know what I love about it more than anything, Linda, is I love that people have this ability to say, yeah, I did A and then went to B and went to C. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, why now? No, you did it. You went A to Z to three yeah. Yeah. to seven to yeah. seven B, then C. Yeah. Because there's yeah. no logic in anything of what you just said. There is yeah. no linear path here. It is so, so screwy. And it's, but you think how cool. And I, and they look at it. You're thinking, no, no, did, can't you see it? And you're thinking, no, I don't think anybody can well, see even, it. Even um, Copper Penny, Jan Stank. Yeah. yeah. They were like TV people or producers, right? And then they were like, well, we drink gin. So I'm happy for you. <laughs> that, that, that means gin. Gin. You know, like, oh my God. Like, but it's amazing. Like these guys, they have like these, anyway. I think they, they, some of these people do make me feel quite uh, inferior, at yes. or lazy, yeah. um, unambitious, or inambitious. Unambitious. Yeah, no yeah. motivation. And like, yeah. I don't do anything. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. sit on my ass all day because these people are running around doing all this cool yeah. stuff. Yeah, these guys are doing crazy things. So it's yeah. kind of amazing. Kind of it, it's funny because like you know some, some of the people that you've talked to that we we all know in common like lorna john ford and all those type yeah, of people yeah, yeah. and it's funny and then i start listening to them and again it that's where some of the ones i like your your guy in trails at ferrero the store oh, danny. Yeah. Yeah. Danny. i i love hearing about but Danny's awesome right i mean i know the family's it's, awesome i like some of these these stories about simple things too sometimes the ones that i can understand and, and fully comprehend well, I, I think that's the beauty of it though sometimes because when you get wrapped up into the story of the people it's it's the it's that's where i think the interest like products are products businesses are businesses and we all find it fascinating because the three of us have been in this industry for a long time mm -hmm. but yeah. what really makes the industry is the people yeah well, the stories of of how people do what they do why they do it why they continue to do it half the time is amazes me even more than the, the front part because you're thinking it's so complicated and you're you're killing yourself, but you're doing such great things. It's really cool. Like, how do you, you know, why don't you stop? Yeah. 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 I get it. Um, okay. So are there regular podcasts that you guys follow? Oh I don't God, do so much. many. He does a lot. I, I don't do many. So many. Um, I need to open my Spotify. How many do you? <laughs> so I, I, many, so many. Okay. So, so every morning. Um, I do, I listen to the intelligence by the economist. That's like a regular for me. So the kind of like morning wind up is the, the intelligence by the economist. I'll do, um, depending on the topic, cause sometimes they're hit and miss, but the front burner by the CBC I'll listen to. Mm -hmm. And then usually either it's the daily, the New York times, the daily, um, or the decibel, which is the globe and mail one. So oh, those okay. are kind of like those four make up my three. The economist one is every morning. And then the other three are kind of two of the three always make it. Um, I am a huge Smartless fan. Um, yeah, same so here. Bateman, Sean Hayes, Will Arnett. Mm -hmm. Those guys are hilarious. Okay. And I love yeah. them a lot. So I, I I, that's them. Yeah, it's on the top of the list. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this this American life. I love a mm -hmm. lot. I love the yeah. storytelling because Ira Glass is just like, yeah, no um, phenomenal stories. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else do I have? You know, the other one that they're enormous, but I find people miss it is, um, a podcast called serial. Um, so S E R I A L serial. And they like, so I, more and more, I love Canadian stuff. And so some of these are American. So I, I harbor a secret wish that we just made a ton more really great Canadian podcasts. Mm -hmm. But Serial is like this. They just, these, like, these are real journalists. You can tell the difference because, um, like, their series, they do these short, not short, but, like, super intense series, nine episodes. So um, season four for Serial just wrapped up, and it was on Guantanamo Bay. Um oh. And it's just like, and they unravel the whole thing. So they kind of go, 
who are these guys who are at Guantanamo? Who were the people that looked after these guys at Guantanamo? What was the legal weirdness or the gray that we exploited or that the Americans exploited to bring these people here? And then they actually talked to people who were incarcerated there, who have now gone oh. on to different things in their lives. They talked to some of the um, the military folks that were running the facility. Like, so like wow. real true journalism stuff, like, you know, mind bending, mind bending shit. Right. So, mm -hmm. and then last season they were in, uh, they were in a courthouse in Cleveland. So they didn't go anywhere. They stayed in Cleveland and they followed cases that came out of a Cleveland courthouse. Oh. It's like a, a whole, yeah, it's like weird shit. Right. Because, you know, like the first one is this lady who, um, She's a young lady who gets um, slapped in the butt um, at a bar. So she turns around and slaps the guy. But it turns out that it's like, apparently it's a mistake because the guy is an, he's a, he's a cop off duty. But the guy who slapped her butt wasn't the cop, apparently. So right. she slaps the cop off duty and her whole life goes off the rails, right? Because he charges oh. her with assault the whole, you know, all okay. of that shit. Like, it's like, what the fuck just happened, that, right? That like, gives me anxiety just hearing that yeah. story. Well, it just, it also yeah. makes me kind of pissed at the guy. Like, you couldn't just say, you know, misunderstand, you move on. Yeah. Yeah. Really? So there's, it's the proving know, point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's, you know, so cereal is on my list. Should I keep going or should I stop? So Linda's okay. podcast. You can, two more. Okay, two more. So um, I do listen to Hearts and Carts. So our friends, Justin and Alex, I yep. love those guys. So they're on my list. And then the other one that I listen, the, the other one I'm listening to right now that switches out is Empire. Um, and Empire is like a, um, it's only for history geeks because they basically walk their way through different empires. Okay. Um, so they're on the Ottoman Empire right now. They started with um, like the British Empire um, and they it's not straight up history. So they kind of talk about like how screwed up it is. They talk about how the British screwed up in India, for example, right, um, right up to partition, like all those sort of, you know, so it's quite cool. Um, yeah. Nice. Well, I, 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 there's there's it's, it's, at least six more, I think. So <laughs> it's 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 not it's, it's not where I thought. Some of them are the the the, the ones more like the the news yeah. and that stuff, but some of these ones are just I wouldn't have thought. Oh really? Yeah. Not not not. It's not an insult, but it's just more of a. Um, they seem very heavy. Oh yeah yeah I like. No, I like I like shit that I laugh at too. There's like there's a couple of really funny ones. Um, I haven't listened to them. There's a there's a really funny one with a couple of Brits. I was say these um, are the English one you shared. There's yeah, they're so either there's British or Irish. No and such thing as fish. Oh my god, there's no that's such so thing funny. as a fish. Is so what funny. Is. Sorry, there's no they, such thing as fish. No such thing as a fish. And they are hilarious. So there are four of them. And then each of them are tasked with bringing weird shit. So it could be like an outdated law that's still in effect. It could be a weird fact, like, I don't know, llamas can only drink water upside down or something weird like that. <laughs> and then they kind of like, they're like geeks and they pile on weird shit, right? So that it takes this really weird kind of like twisted course. It's hilarious. Like It's really funny. The one thing it's, is you can't listen to it on a plane because <laughs> you're laughing. Really, you, you're an idiot, right? Because you're laughing, you know, <laughs> you're laughing the whole time and people around you are like, there's nothing on his TV screen. Like, what's he doing? Right. Like, yeah. 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 I like that one too. I find yeah. them funny. That that one's a good yeah, one. They were hilarious. Okay. Yeah. I agree. Um, okay. So do you prefer the startup stories, the work in progress um, or like how I took it from the kitchen to the international national marketplace, like like the Satya story, for example, or which 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 do you prefer? Like, do you like? I just like the story. Yeah, I don't yeah. care if it's a startup going from zero dollars to a hundred grand, or if it's add a million going to ten. I just like I just like the stories. I just I like I you know what it is I think because it fills fills voids that that maybe i don't get so mm -hmm. when i'm listening like i think i i think sometimes i get 
I think I use the podcast more for me than anybody else. I like to listen <laughs> because there's got to be tidbits in everybody's story that, you know, you think, oh, shit, that's the that's the, the whole missing in mind. Okay, I can do that. And you just kind of just start because I'm always curious to see what, how people do what they do and why they get where they get. And maybe sometimes why I, you know, why I didn't do it or can't do it or haven't done it and trying to fill in the spots for that. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Bill. Um, I'm the same. I'm, I'm interested in the, it's the angle I think I'm interested in. So I don't think the type of story matters, okay. me, but the angles are really like, um, we, we just did a follow-up interview with um, the folks from Tom and Sawyer, for example. Mm -hmm. And like, she's- The pet food, like, right? Yeah, and Kristen's like a forensic accountant, but now she runs a oh. cooked dog food company. And you're just like- That there's no linear path there. I don't, I don't get half these people either. Do you know what I mean? Like, so yeah. like, there's all these weird things that you kind of go like, I don't, you know, um, shit, what is their name? Kyle and Emily and Kyle, I don't remember the brand, but they make a vegan ravioli. Mm -hmm. um, they were one of the CHFA winners. Oh, the, that's the blue bag. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, and, and I don't remember who you're talking about. Yeah. And, and like they're lawyers, right? And they just did it yeah. because she wanted him to try some vegan stuff and he didn't like all the vegan He's stuff. not going to go to because nothing's any good. So, nah. so well, we'll do and our they own. Thought they'd make shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, dude. All these angles are so interesting, right? Like yeah. just how people think and and where it goes back to the beginning. Work, it's to right? me is they're saying it so obviously. Well, obviously that's why we did this. You're thinking, <laughs> no, there's no obvious. You can't. There's there's no dots. Yeah, yeah. you no, can't connect thing. this. Like you guys no, bounced no. over something, and then yeah. you may, you pretend there's a dot. There's no dots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it it does yeah. boggle me. Like I said, these these are the people that make me feel lazy and I know not worthy. Not worthy. Just inferior. Um, okay, so you've got the podcast, you've got old growth beverages, you do the consulting, paid or otherwise. Yeah, you got Norman's, you got fractional C CEO work. Like, I don't know how you guys are juggling it all. Um, you're working harder now than when you did when you actually got paid 100%. to do I don't, I, think, I, I find sometimes I feel like I'm coasting. Like, I, I, I find that there's could be there's there's more room on the plate. I really do. I, I don't find over. I don't. I don't find us to be over. I find days of overwhelm, mm -hmm. but I don't find like on the week. If someone says, "Were you overwhelmed last week?" No, not really. A couple days I might have been, but I'm not like, "Oh my god, I can't find time to sleep or do this or no." I, I don't know. He's like, I, I definitely not. There. I think it's um like it's busy, but I think it's also like we have the chance to be efficient here. Like, I think part of the problem is like when you wear, work big companies and things like that, there's a decorum you have to follow. There's like protocol you have to follow. You have to fill in, you know, like crafting an email requires work because you have to, you know, you, you got to know better. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. but um, here we, we don't have to do that. Like if I send an email, it can be three lines, but it's because I did work. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like, so, yeah. so I do find the work better faster more economical which i think helps yeah. a lot i also find i don't know what you find i mm. i found like in old corporate everything you you were you had to be a lot more scripted for lack of a better way to say mm -hmm. whether it was in your ear dress your decorum your language mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. i i go with a grateful dead t-shirt i don't really care yeah i mean i was late to see it well, when, when he dresses up the batman you know he's dressed up for you because he's got the batman shirt I like on. The batman shirt. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we did CHFA because my dad was in the hospital. So I was running late. Yeah. It was either go home and change or I did the judging with my ACDC shirt. Why? Because right. I like that shirt. I don't care. But you know what it is, is because you're representing you. You're not representing LD. You're not I, I think representing that's sometimes, it, it, I think that's yeah. the difference. I think that's what I actually like, though, is yeah. that, that, you know, it's just, yeah, it's a whatever. I mean, if you, if you know, if you know me, you like me, we're going to do okay. If you mm -hmm. don't, well, that's okay too. I mean, then everybody has to like everybody. Now, hopefully, yeah. respect each yeah. other, but you don't have yeah. to like me. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, it makes me it's sad a little bit inside, but it's okay. It's amazing when you think back. Like, remember when when we used to fly so much? You had to dress like you were going to walk off the plane, and go into a business meeting. Now it's like. <laughs> 
get the sketches on, get the t-shirt yeah, on. Yeah, just get your comfortable. Yeah. As long as you bring content, what's the difference? Yeah, exactly. I agree. Yeah. Although sometimes dressing up is nice too. It's all good, but I just like being, I feel more comfortable if I'm just on my own skin. Like if I, I just like, yeah. I like my t-shirts and jeans. That's yeah. when I feel best. Right. Well, that's, you know, and, and it, and I think it's also, you know, society as well. It's a little less uptight about how we present ourselves versus the, the what comes out, what comes yeah. out from the mouth and, yeah. and, and so. And then how you carry yourself going forward. Like, you know, yeah. be respectful, be, be, you know, have integrity. If you say you're going to do something, do it. If you say you're not, don't, you know, just play straight. Uh, of all these different roles, is there anything in particular that you enjoy the most? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think, I don't know. Like for me, I think if I could do the podcast full time, I would. I would do this all day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah all if you day. could do more around this or with, it doesn't have to be specifically the podcast. Yeah. The story is sort going. of the web off the podcast. Yeah. That That's cool. If I, like if all I this video, video that we're trying to do, it's all the same thing, right? As us, like we're, we're trying to, you know, the podcast is evolving. The audio format is like one format, but the video portions, like bringing people to life, you know, being able to have face to face now. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm going out to Vancouver on a really quick trip next week to try something out with Kenny. We're going to do a live interview, like literally live, live. Um, you know, and I've done a lot of work to try and figure out audio so it sounds good live. Um, you, you're going to chalk it? No, chalk ox? Chalk no, 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 no. We we, we, we had we, to cancel uh, my dad. Uh, yeah, oh. but um, but we're gonna we're gonna do an interview with somebody, and we're probably gonna do it at a cafe somewhere. So oh, cool. Um, yeah, yeah so we're gonna try some shit out, right? So yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, and, and I've mentioned this to you guys before. Is more thoughts on doing some master classes? First, you need to be a master. Yeah. Yeah, but you you are again stop you, you can't diminish you know no you can't diminish what you you can teach I can definitely i can definitely diminish the fact there's no master class in this one maybe him i got no master class. no no he's he's i can give you a good class <laughs> we can just mute him linda when you think of it like if you yeah. take it, even like if you you take what you know what you know like even like not saying but every little bits of aspect like things that i know that you don't know yeah. that you know that i don't know and so forth it, it's some of these things where we think whatever it is that we know we think is common knowledge and i can guarantee you judging from some of the people i've spoken to judging from some of the people you guys have spoken to it's not common knowledge yeah. you know yeah. So I think we're like we we we've been helping with associations and their learning processes, and we've talked about doing a set of courses. But I think the problem is is neither of us are, you know, if you think of the podcast persona, we're, we're unscripted, we're unrehearsed, we we kind of like crash into things, and that's our personality. Doing like a a school or master class lesson -y format mm -hmm. is a bit counter character, right? Because it doesn't True. quite match. And I think both of us feel that we talk about it all the time. Like, honestly, we talk about how do we teach better? How do we connect better? Um, and I think we're just, we're working our way towards like, you know, like one, you hopefully you learn stuff on every podcast, you learn stuff in every YouTube episode. And then when you're kind of ready at your stage in your journey, you come see us, right? Like, I think yeah. that's a better format for us. Cause I feel mm -hmm. like if we tried to do a school, we only get so far before someone went, I, I you guys are- We're gonna either offend it's somebody, it's gonna go off the rails, we're gonna hit tangents, <laughs> right? It's, I, I, I know, I think he's way more capable of doing, mm -hmm. I sure the hell ain't gonna, it's not gonna work. But I already know, it's not gonna work. Okay. That's why it's good having him around because I, if I watch what he does and try to copy him, it's better. <laughs> it's it's like, loss. When I brought uh, Patrice in to the coffee shop to meet with you in that first discussion, that was a master class. That was a master class of you saying, no, he, it's no, I mean, it's, it's, it's stuff that you know, it's stuff that I know. And then when, when you actually have to say, you know, what are your cogs? And they go, the what? And yeah. And that that's you know, but anyways, okay, but that's 
I still think you, you guys don't realize just how much you're actually teaching. I, I think we I think we want to I think we want to keep because we hear we do hear it and we love those comments the most because we we do get comments that people go oh you know we wish we heard you guys a couple of years ago or thank God like you know we listened to a couple of episodes and that helped us figure some shit out um, so we love those right and I think we want to keep doing it I think just the um, we're not good at asking for money period. And then two is like to build a school, I think feels weird to us. So I mm -hmm. think we want to kind of like entertain and educate. And then if we really mean that much, we, we have had people who show up, right. That go, Hey, like you guys are, we learned a lot from you. Could, could we bring you guys on to help us build some stuff? Right? I so love doing that to me. You know, <clears throat> that's, and, that's, I love those ones. Right, because it's fun. because then you know you've, you've you've given them some value that they appreciate or you know and again I always think I always find that every time we start doing something we learn something. Mm -hmm. yeah, right, it doesn't have to be definitely. huge. Like anything is anything. Anything I knew more than you know yesterday versus today or today versus yesterday, I'm happy. Fair enough. Um, is there anything you miss at all aside like um, from when you were an employee aside from a a steady paycheck i miss the travel mm -hmm. i like i love doing i love doing trade shows and mm -hmm. and traveling i love the hunt yeah oh Which yeah, yeah I probably you, go you, the path i go when i talk to people because yeah. i'm trying to get back into the hunt like i'm oh my god i'm so excited for something oh right i, I love that yeah <laughs> bill um i think i miss the i think the <clears throat> I think I miss the um, ability to not to be able to close my eyes to something, mm -hmm. you know, like, cause when you run your own business, mm -hmm. like you, you yeah. don't, yeah. you don't get a break. Like it, nobody's going to do it. Like it's the old dash, right? And nobody's going to do it if you don't do it. Right. So like we That's own true. it, we do it. Right. And then, but there are moments you go, fuck, like, could somebody else do that? So I don't have to like, yeah, when you're uh, chief cook and bottle washer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there are moments, right? Like, I love it. I love it. Like, I love getting into it. But there are moments that you're like. I miss the support staff because I had, mm -hmm. like, a ridiculous crew at London. All of them. Mm -hmm. I had so many people helping me all the time. Mm -hmm. right, I'm going to drop a small plug. Um, hopefully, she doesn't kick my ass because, actually, that would be really bad. But... We hired this lady, Keelan. Thank God. Um, her name's Keelan Mayer, and she runs WAM, uh, W-A-M Administrative, I think is the title. Um, and she's just like, she's been doing it. She's getting all of her digital stuff up and running, um, all that stuff. But if you look her up or on LinkedIn, um, she's been amazing. We hired, we brought her on, what, three months ago, Kenny? Something like that. I don't and know. It's just been a godsend. Like she's an EA. So she, well, no. Okay. She markets herself as an EA, an executive assistant. But in fact, she has this strong project management background. She's got all these bits. And so she's like, she's really helped us pick up the loose ends, right? Like, you know what I'm like? Yeah. Uh, like uh, definitively corralling cats works. Mm -hmm. With the two of us, oh, you've known me for years. Right? Like, like I, yeah. everybody knows what I was yeah. like in the old. Like, it's corralling cats. Yeah, yeah. Like, and and she has this. I mean, thank. I mean, honestly, thank God. Yeah, she's really, she's really kind of like picked up and and helped us clean up shit. Um, she's doing things we don't want to do. Um, and she's like, she's really amazing. So she's just good at it too. She's yeah. intuitive, uh, and that's changed a boatload of things. Like, well, she, that's good. You know, yeah, you, you you have a another fellow working with you. Is it? Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, and he's he's good. I think Aaron is um, starting to try and figure out. You know, he's a young guy, right? Working with lots of bigger and better things. I think ultimately, so in the sense he's, that he's in the process of figuring yeah. out where he wants to be in the world. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Different so stage of different stage of career though, too, right? I think he was. It's. I think there's only so much he can do with us and learn from our side. I think he. I think he needs to now go do. What we sort of did, you get into bigger and then you do what Keelan does later and you go backwards, but it's not a backwards. It's only a backwards in terms of size and maybe as many people, yeah. but the skills that you bring are the changes. You, it's like, this is why I always tell people, I don't like, it's not, I don't like, 
I, I, I would always take a small company over a big company every day, mm -hmm. especially as you age. At the yep. beginning, I think the opposite is probably better in that it's like going to school. You learn to think different ways. Our large companies have structure. They have rules. They have, they have good training, training typically yeah, resources, really things like that. Yeah. What happens, I think, as you get older, and especially if you're you're hard to control on the best day, is th it's just too it's it's too tight. It yeah. makes you stressed out, you know. But I think for someone like Aaron, it's probably great. You go into that space, learn it, you'll end up hating it, and then you bust out and go back to where like sort of Keelan is now, where she's like she's got you got autonomy. You can do shit. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Makes a difference. I think it does. What's what's a typical day for you guys? <laughs> what? Is, is, is there such a thing as a typical yeah. day? Um, like, there's a lot, like a, when I'm teaching in school, the, the like the school kind of takes over because there, there's a schedule and I got to teach some classes. So then the day revolves around that. But I mean, it's kind of like you cycle through clients, right? Um, so I I got like three folks I work with right now. So I cycle through those guys, make sure we're on track that we're doing all the things we need to do with them. And then um, Kenny and I get together every Thursday. So Thursdays are our day. And then we grind through a bunch of like podcast things. I'm sure Keelan gets scared when we're together on Thursdays because then she gets oh. a ton of notes from us. Um, and then, um, yeah. And then I guess it's like, it's like a, a whack of schedules, right? Like, cause every Monday, I'll I'll put out the the podcast stuff if we've got a special episode it goes out Thursday. Um, we're in the midst of interviewing for Food Pro like Food Pro speakers. So there's this amazing ten year old that we interviewed last week um, that we're going to put out her short shortly, and she is a ten year old. A ten year old. What a great story. Well, she's eleven now. Oh, sorry. She's 11 now. Not, she's so, not that young anymore. You know, if you want to feel like you're in the slow lane. <laughs> oh, my God. You want to be in the slow lane? Run the brand. Listen to like, her. We are dinosaurs, the three of us. We're going backwards. And she's articulate, too. Like, she's not your ordinary 10-year-old. No, like, she was really her. fun to talk to. I really enjoyed yeah. her. Yeah. Nice young woman. Like, just so you never really, felt so old. Yeah. Never felt so old. Never felt so slow. Never. <laughs> yeah. Never felt like, wow. Like, like, Oh my God, I feel like we're not doing anything actually. Like, yeah, 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 yeah totally. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Do, you, do you have a, an elusive guest that you've been, somebody you've been trying to get and can't get? Um, For a while, we had Kirk, remember from uh, Hard Bite. Mama me, I, I, what's our, um, two our years I called safe, him. Our Vita safe friend. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah, what's um the um, oh the retailer, the Manitoba-based retailer um, from Vita Health? Yeah, Vita Health. Sorry, uh, yeah, the Sun. What the hell's oh? Name? I didn't even realize that they were still open. Oh yeah, five six stores. Oh okay, okay. I think yeah. if like if you're listening to this and you're a small retailer, we want to. I love. We would love small retail. Mm hmm. Because we 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 feel like we've done a lot to help brands, you know, kind of be out there, but like small retail is like, it's this huge battle, right? And it's getting tougher and tougher and tougher. Um, so we want to be able to help, but I, we know what it's like, right? Like retailers are, it's hard to get their attention. It's hard to, you know, get them to pay attention. So mm -hmm. we get it, but we really loved it. Like if you're a small retailer, come talk to us. We, we'd love it. Oh, we'd love it. Yeah. Matt Holtman. Right? Matt no. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Matt Holtman. I don't think of Matt's name. Or Holtman. Yeah. My God. Like, I, 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 that's cool. like, I thought Kirk was bad. This one's even worse. <laughs> Some people are just really busy. You. If he ever listens to this, you promised. That's you it. go get him. You go get him. Um, was there a fallback plan if this stuff didn't work out? No. Fallback? There's no plan. Like, like okay, there's no plan. There's no plan going in. What are you gonna fall back on? You got no lead plan. Blindly, lead blindly, lead blindly into the world and just hope that somebody catches you. We create, we create, and then yeah, that's it. Though there's no plan. Things. We kind of create. You know, well, no, I, I, I don't have a fallback. Like this is, this is, you know, I, this is, I, this is the pocket I, I want to stay in, sort of. Like so, if, if I can't get to, 
the if we can't get to podcasting for real or, or whatever this turns into, I think it is um, doing the fractional CMO thing, teaching. Um, but it's doing all the stuff we're doing anyway. Like the point is, yeah. like we don't do. There's not one thing we do full time, full tilt. Okay. Mostly because I don't know. That sounds boring again. Like as much I would love to do this all the time, but I don't want to do this like a. I don't want to do a job. Like I don't want to do it like that. Okay. I still want to do a bunch of other shit on the side. I just want to do way more of this. We're not okay. good enough, Phil. Like, what do we need to do? Well, you never know. I mean, the tea business is going. So, so maybe, I like that one too. That's fun. Maybe, the, maybe we could become tea barons or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what that means exactly. But you know what? We'll have the tea sponsor the podcast. We'll be tea barons. We'll have a cool podcast. Oh, That's what we'll do. Sounds um, like a plan. I don't want to do um, one thing. I told you, I get bored. <laughs> um, I, I, I see we're coming up on are there. there so are there any? Quick. Are there oh, any? Yeah. Um, are there any episodes that you would want to hear that we haven't done? Or someone we haven't talked to that yeah. you think would be cool? There there was a couple, and then I um, I still want to hear about the AG. Um, John Davis from AG. I thought AG I thought here. You reach out to them or him. I know what you're talking about. It's it's the, the hair stuff. Yeah. He, he'd be happy people. to talk to you. Oh, we'll to talk to him. It, it was. I think it's it's their story. They had a cool story about their how they started from nothing in the. I think it was in the basement of the garage or something like that to a little limpar. I, I, I some of those stories I just like to hear. Um, no, you guys seem to pull up these people like, oh wait, okay, like when you know when you get people like Lorna V and and stuff like that. I love hearing her story all the time. But it's funny, and I know I've known Lorna for a lot of years, and I sat, mm -hmm. I, I just find it fascinating. And then yeah. I love listening to Caitlin because yes, she's her own, but she's still got her mom got some, but she's her own. I, I don't, I yeah, I just you need, need to have her back too because she's she's done some done some moving and shaking in the world these days. So it seems to be. Um, Seem seem a lot of she's getting a lot of recognition for some of the stuff that she's Any doing. So. time she wants. Um, okay, so aside from knowing your cogs as a as a startup, yeah. what's what's the best first steps advice that you could give? I always tell people to attach to other people who've done things. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, work on it. Work on a network because I think him and I've talked about a lot of things in the past. That I mean, a, a good idea is just that. It's just a good mm -hmm. idea. It doesn't make a business. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. a lot of times what people do. Well, there's no nothing like this in the market, and you're looking and thinking, well, there might be a reason for that. One, you could be the only one who's thought of it, which is possible. It's amazing sometimes what we think is everything's done and it's not, or it's been tried before. Mm -hmm. Right. So sometimes I think it's just vetting before you get too deep without squashing. If you really want to do something, I always tell them do it. I mean, just understand, you know, what the potential repercussions are, the financial issues. Yeah. And if you're okay with it, yeah, light it up, do it. But I, I think people don't take advantage of, I had one person the other day wants to potentially um, move from one distributor to another. I look at the contract that said, you know, you've, pretty much lock yourself in here, right? Eh? Yeah. People don't read. Right. And you the, the 90 day exit is legit. I, I think I said now I you could talk to a lawyer. I think you should. But mm -hmm. I'm telling you right now, in my head, the way I read this, I, I think you you are exclusive, quite frankly, and I don't think you have any wiggle room. That's just my read. I'm not a lawyer. Mm -hmm. But might have been one of those things prior to signing. And 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 it's, and it's not it's not it's not this person's fault. It's it's part Everybody, I, I know people who've been 10 years in business and do that because you're just mm -hmm. excited. You're not thinking, you're not, it just, it's what it is. But, you know, you've got people around you. Take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. If that's one thing we, Phil and I talk a lot on podcasts, we tell people, if you ever want anything, you always call us back. Like, that's not a bullshit line. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ultimately, if you call me mm -hmm. back for 16 hours, I, you know, I'd like to get paid. I got to eat too. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, I get it. I have no problem helping because, you know, at least understand what you're walking into and maybe you're smarter than me. You probably are. So you'll figure it out. But yeah. you know, why, why fall into a pit with tigers if you don't have to, like, I don't know. That's just my thing. I think just leverage people better. 
I, I, and I fully agree with you. The amount of people that I've spoken to were, were they were doing startup and they said, well, here's what I want to do. And, and I said, okay, you know, it's going to cost this to do this and this to do that. And that's just even the starting point. It's like, do you, do you have 50 grand that you, if, if you, if you lose it tomorrow, are you going to lose sleep? Yeah. If you, if you don't, then I would think about this a lot harder. I hundred percent. Or do you have 50 grand working capital? The yeah. 50 you just put in, that's gone. That's called sunk. Yeah. Are you capable? Yeah. Like if someone says, listen, I want, you know, a hundred thousand pieces and it's going to cost you 50 grand. Do you have the money to build mm -hmm. this? And do you have the money? If to your point that if they decide, oh, I, 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 I kind of don't want it anymore. Do, do you yeah. have the time to, to get the cash back? It's the pain the of, it's the pain of, um, you know, like if, if you, if you want to do it and you don't have the, you know, if you don't have the knowledge to do it or the network to help you figure out the next steps, you know, you almost need to ask yourself, like, do I have the moxie to pay back a 30 or $50,000 loan yeah. on a, on a, on a, on something that I'm not doing anymore. So, mm -hmm. you know, so like, I think you think about that, those, you know, cause we want to save people those moments, right? Cause yeah. we see those all the time. Um, I talked to a brand yesterday um, and, and they've exited and the partners are in the process of breaking up and they owe collectively a chunk of money, right? So the fighting now is about who owes what, but yeah. it's really painful, right? Because they're all out looking for jobs now and so you kind of do the math and go, okay, so you're going to get a job. So you can pay your mortgage, you can pay your car, you can pay your bills. And all this other debt. And you've got like, basically you've got a, uh, each of you has a, a phantom car that you have to pay for that you will never get, you will never drive, you will never, you know, so that's why you build the network. That's why we say connect, right? Because people, you know, ultimately you're responsible for doing, but people will help you see where the, yeah, you know, don't drive that way. That's that's a total. Yeah. There's no bridge at the end of that road. You're not going to make it's it. an off-road ride, and you're in a Corvette, so yeah. it's not going to go well for you, right? Like, I, I I always feel so sorry for some of those that just yeah. have have such high hopes, and and it's just you you can just see it. You know, you don't want to be negative, and you don't want to be discouraging. You want to be. Um, you know, supportive and, and, and give them all the help they can. But there comes a point in time when you go, you're you're beating a dead horse, and it's just. Yeah. I think you're you're obliged to do that. Though I think I yeah. I, I think giving people false hope. Yep. Um, blowing tires up that are going to pop is just stupid. I mean, why why do we do that? If yeah. there's, I don't want people doing that to me. Yeah, I don't want you to squash my dreams. Mm -hmm. But I want you to be honest. Like, don't don't sugarcoat it. Like, yeah. Tell me, like, what am I up against? Yeah. And then if anything, maybe show me how to help or how to fix it. Or, you know, is there an out? Yeah. But, you know, don't, don't bullshit me. Oh, it's a great idea. You're going to make <laughs> billions. When you, as you walk away thinking, oh, my God, I hope they don't lose the house. I, I found as I got older, the more the, 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 I turned into you, Kenny, where it's just like, no, no don't filters, do it. Man. Don't no, be an idiot. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. Not the way you're doing it. If you want to do this, 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 or this. No might be better sense. No, the way you're doing it's not going to work. No, you don't want to hear doing... it. Listen to it. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. It's not my money. But... And that's exactly it. And just, and then it just, that, that part just kills me. I know. Uh, um, one of the things, like I said, I didn't get to go see HFA. What's, what's the new food, uh, food trends and NHP trends, anything, was it all plant-based again, or was it anything stand out? Um, if there's anything, if there was anything, um, stood out this year, utility, uh, you know, brutally riveting. I don't think there was anything that was like, oh my god, I've never seen that before. Um, plant based is, is obviously still going to be here. I think what everybody's sort of finally figuring out is that to put plant based on the side of a package but have a ton of shit in there really defeats the purpose of plant based. The idea in my head, at least, was you know, you want to have a clean alternative to the protein that you're eating. Mm -hmm. whatever reasons you have you know i'm yeah. not an industrial farm advocate i don't like the cargills and all that shit but i have no problem with the steak i mean if, if, if a rancher has 10 cows 100 cows and they're actually free range and grazing and doing their thing mm -hmm. and, you know, the, and the goats are behind cleaning up the grass whatever all that i'm okay with that that's my business i'm, I'm not gonna yeah. be vegan 
I think we do a lot of things stupidly that we can fix. But I don't know if I saw anything. We saw some interesting products, but I, I didn't. I didn't see any. Lots of snacks. Mm. No, Phil. Lots of snacks. Um, lots of drinks. Lots of um. What do you what do you call that? Like lots of um, high functionality or like mm. yeah enhanced drinks. You know whether it's um, you know like Karen from Bloom comes to mind because she's yep. doing some really cool things. But we're starting to see people try and work in um, all of those kind of you know increased um, turmeric. Like everyone's trying to go after turmeric or adding something so that you know, high functioning drinks, I guess. The gins are cool. Yeah, you know, all is cool. Like this, there's yeah, a lot of that. It used to be, like it's, this is like the next evolution of all the kombuchas that we saw a couple of years ago. Almost. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that, that's the thing too. It's like, you know, yeah. I remember doing Expo West 10, 15 years ago and everything was about detoxing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really weird detoxing, but de detoxing. Everything is about flushing everything out of your body. Remember yeah. the gluten free hit that one or one or two years when gluten free hit? One year <laughs> there was 10 boosts, the next year was 200. Yeah. Well, it's the same thing. One year I went there, it was like, it was nothing but jerky, jerky, yep. turkey, jerky, beef, jerky, pork, jerky, you name it. Every yeah. jerky thing yeah. that was out there. Oh. Yeah. Um, okay. So, last question three, three words each to sum up where you're at now like you're happy you're sad you're stressed you're whatever three words oh um i don't know do you want to go first or you want me to go first i'm thinking, I'm thinking. i can't i can't do it in three words okay four um happy um Happy, focused, um, happy, focus, um, I, I'm trying, I'm struggling with, um, informative or useful. Okay. So, so I'm happy with what we're doing. I am focused on us bringing value every day, and I'd like to be useful and informative all the time. I think nice. those three. I'm writing these down because if we do them again, I'm going to bring these notes back up. Good Lord. Any? Like to be busier. Listen, I have a stack. That wasn't, the, that wasn't the, um, the intent of that. I know, but that's what you're getting. <laughs> okay. Otherwise, yeah, it's, everything's all good, man. I mean, what the hell? It's all good in the hood. That's it. Where do you live? I mean, we live in Canada. I mean, we don't miss meals. We don't, you know, no. come on. Like, seriously, in the grand scheme little, of life. Little to complain about. That's really, sure. I mean, I mean, we can all complain about things. Yeah, we're just not the perfect country. It's not the perfect time. But you know what? And all things family's healthy we're doing okay i mean what the hell do you want how's your dad that's like a, that's like a freaking cat man i don't i don't know i i, I don't i don't get that man right he, he's had his health issues and yet he just plugs along and he's got a great disposition it's like what it is is what it is yeah. but he's not upset about anything he's not discontent with life you know like you said at the other night he goes you know where he goes we're very fortunate we had you know Good kids didn't have to worry about them. Mm -hmm. They've been together a long time. They traveled. They saw things. I mean, really, the grand scheme of life. Like my dad would tell you right now, if it if he went today, no regrets. And That's he's good. Happy. We should all live every day like that. Exactly. Exactly. Gentlemen, um, thank you for doing this. My pleasure. It was fun. That was good. It, it was, was really fun. fun. Yeah, and it was nice to see you again. And nice to see you guys. So I guess cool. I'll see you, I, I'll see you next uh, April, I guess, in Vancouver, CHFA. Yeah. Hopefully yeah, we might be back in the fall for um, um, BC Food and Bev does their, you know, the year yeah, end. The gala. Thingy, yeah. The gala. We yeah. might, be, might be back for that. Yeah. Okay. It was a pleasure. It really was. Thank you for doing that. Thank miss you. you guys. I do. We miss you too. Yeah, you can always pop on periodically where it's not, yeah. we're not hard to, we're not hard to find, you know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Me. You guys are just, you got more important people to talk to. Uh-huh. Yeah, awesome. If I, if I think of some more people, I will shoot. You know, and even if you want the AG, just put, put your, put you, him, us on the same email. Let's, let's go. I, uh, okay. I, I sent him an invite on LinkedIn. Oh, and there you go. Okay. Yeah. I thought we had done that. I thought we had followed no, up. You know what? He was in England at the time, I believe oh, when, maybe. when we were talking mm -hmm. and then there was a lot of travel and so forth. And then I forget. Hey, that's why you got me. Yeah, that's why I got both of you. You guys can remember shit. To that's hound good. you and to remind you. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll maybe remember soon. Thanks, you Thank know what I, I would like to hear is, uh, and I and, and it never seems to be the, the story that you think it is when you watch on TV is a Dragon's Den story about someone's journey on that. Because you, you go, you see the people that go on TV. Um, Satya did it. Back to Earth did it. Um, oh, so many. Earth. Everybody, uh, Bessie, Caitlin, Bessie Bennerby, did it back in the Caitlin, day. Yeah, everybody do it, and yeah, yeah. And, and everyone goes, "Oh yeah, they got the deal. Everything was great." And then everything fell apart afterwards. I'm curious. I'm that's the part I'm. Curious I would love to hear that. I guess I just don't know. I'm, I'm assuming there's non-disclosure, and, 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 and I wouldn't want to, you know, because I, I, again, it, you know what? It's good TV, mm -hmm. and I think it's not. I think it's probably good for for a lot of people to see because they do ask a lot of the same questions we would ask, mm -hmm. but, you know, we're not TV, yeah. we're less, you know, but they do mm -hmm. ask, they, they do to ask cogs. They do want to know cost of acquisition. They do ask those mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. but yeah. that's TV, right? I mean, it is what it is. There you go. There's you, there's you next. And while we do this, you thing. don't have any money to invest in them, but you know, <laughs> There, there, I think it's a large part. I think we do a lot of that now, Linda, anyway. I think we we yeah. do. I mean, I've been Dragon's Den when I was a buyer. I mean, you might, as, as a buyer, like I would try to coach people too because I hated people who came in with stuff that made no freaking sense. Or yeah. if they were close, but I could see that, oh my God, you're going to, you're not going to, you're going to lose your house. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I just kind of give you some tidbits and say, listen, then, then come back. Right. Yeah. You, so. they, they just don't get humiliated on national television. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you sign up for that, right? And you get, you know what? Yeah. If you ask most of them, look at the shit they get. They get a lot of uh, recognition publicity. And, and publicity. So really, yeah. that's the biggest part of it. Yeah. So you're embarrassed for ten minutes. Who cares? Nobody remembers anyway. I do. Or at least I don't. <laughs> you too, might. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Thank you. That was awesome. And thank you. We will talk yeah. to you soon. If you ever want to do this again. I've okay. got, I've got, I've got, I've written down these oh, more questions, three you know. words, four oh. words. I won't remember mine anyway. So I'll remind you. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Linda. Take, Take care. care. Thank you. Okay. Oh, hang on for a minute. Linda, yeah. we'll okay. chat later. Bye, Linda. Bye bye. Ciao. Well, they watch this tech genius to see what she hangs up here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love her. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> she makes me laugh. <laughs>